Yeah, I don't. I can't think of any female players before that actually. Joshner and Ditka, Palakal, of course. Four, one. Seven, eight. Uh, I was going to get what it deserved. Hand Far up. too wide. Ten all. A player must win Full by wind two up. points. That's a great shot. Oh, we're going to have a look at this one. He doesn't get it. He's got to concentrate. He's got it. He's got that as well, is it? Oh, it's a naughty movement. Yeah. Uh, Need to look at this a minute. 12 10. Came to Asal. Asal leads. So nothing. Is he? Why isn't he reviewing? I don't understand why he's not reviewing. You should have gone more to the ball. You could have. You could have avoided it. Oh, this is a bit. Ten, game to Asal. Asal I don't understand why he's not reviewed it. Got yeah, it. That's a nice touch. Just lovely touch. Just sure what he's saying Stay to up. himself, but Four, the touch was lovely. Five. Interesting character, I'll tell you. He's a oh, that's an outrageous shot. I mean, he's acknowledged that. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see Mangakar acknowledge this? Watch this on the replay. This is an amazing shot. And there, look. He acknowledges. That's very, very classy. Interesting, very interesting character. Good hold. Yes, Len. Oh, it's a review, it's if, worth a review. Yeah, I think if the shot had slightly more quality to it, it would have been a no let because he really caught him with the hold. Gentlemen, no discussion during the review. Well, it's a no let, it's been given. And there were situations then. That was, that was two years ago. Again, no. really good straight work from Mango Car. Just not going to get away with it on on TV, and 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 he's you know a big time player. He's going to be on TV all the time. Just just play the ball. Watching, he's got nothing else to do. That's true. Actually, he might be doing some online shopping in between that. Well, he took the wrong line. He keeps looking back nervously. It's not a good sign when you do that. I... Massively distracting. Yeah, it's hugely distracting. It's... Two game balls for Mangalka. Through the legs, he's under, he, under pressure. Unbelievable athleticism from both players. And there's the error. So Mahesh Mangalkar takes the third game. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, well, the quick attack. Hand up. It's going for a towel wipe now. Back corner, he's stitching himself up a bit here. Hand up. Seven, five.
So the no that being given, Mustafa Asal equalises. Oh, he's pressing on. Six. He's pressing one. on. He's not enjoyed this one bit, Mustafa Asal. He's had a real nervous look about him. against him, everyone's against him, and he's not seeing clearly what's happening on there, that it's within his own hands to stop this from happening. Yeah, well, hopefully he'll listen then to what's been said today. You know? Eight. One. I'd like to think that might be the case. Because it's, it's me, one. the way he said that then, I thought he was going to say there was a baby dinosaur on court or something. There we go. There's the finish. Mustafa Asal finishes. Just giving a couple of photo opportunities to Nathan. There we go. 83 minutes. A lot of stop start, but there's some very good squash in there as well. Contemporaries from back in the day, a real character on the PSA World Tour, Davide Bianchetti. A very much quieter version. <laughs> Davide, Davide, a, a world championship quarter finalist back in 2003. Oh. Terrific player, brilliant player. Coached him then. Did you, yeah, beat Peter did. Nichol? Did you coach him against no, Peter Nichol? No, against, then... uh, against Gregory Goldtier. Just look at the recovery, Joey, of Sir when he. He's got to go and stretch the ball, how quickly he comes out and gets back to the tee. It's, the movement is so light, it's almost like you don't even see it. And I'm telling you, Joey, Abu Elgar is a little bit shaky today. And now if he wasn't a squash player, he'd be an amazing high jumper. It's, it's as if he's got springs in his shoes every time he bounces yeah, back on no, the it's shot. Really... Triple jumper, Johnny. Decision. Problem is, he, he ducked his head, he's taking his eyes off the ball, so then you're in big trouble then. Yeah, it's a good way of... Um, there's no better way than to claim the first game here from a, a deficit situation as well. He's done it, and he's done it with one of his favourite shots, slotting across the mid-court line. Well, the bullet strikes. He'll go and get his towel. He won't make the mistake of not having it on court because he's sweating very heavily. Good work from Serm. Just staying steady here. Six, eight. Yeah, wonky shot there, yeah. Joey. Didn't didn't middle the ball at all, and no. he's, that's Nine, been the difference six. in this game. Every time he's played. Especially a really loose ball, he's been punished immediately. The two game balls left, though, for the bullet. And Serm's tinned out, so... Or, and it does happen quite a lot with Abu Algar, the other side of the coin, he starts making a lot of unforced errors. That's nice from Lucas Serm. That was really lovely play. Good positive squash, the right shot selections, following up on it. It was a real delicate soft hold there. That's where he's really improved now. Firstly, Serm handed some uh, very cheap points, and now Abu Algar's given them all back. Yeah, but he's got him there, Johnny Boys. So, I mean, he's in a position now to close out, and he hasn't in your eyes, brought his complete A Any game here, ball? which is only a good sign for him. Oh, goodness. 
It's really been a lacklustre affair this game. Very, very free-flowing squash between these two. It's been a real joy to watch. Moving around each other. And interesting is this rally is the best rally of the match, Joey, at match ball. Oh, what a line. What a line. Unbelievable line. line. Lucas bent over double. He worked hard physically. He really did. And you can see how hard the bullet worked. That's 51 minutes. It's never straightforward. There's always a duration when Lucas involved. Cracking line there from Spaniard. That's what I mean about that interjection of pace. If you can get that balance right. Well, that was a bit of a nothing, nothing flick there. He wasn't committed. It's almost like he wanted Four to pull out of the shot at the last second. Farag just is, as you would expect from world number one, it was like the switch went off and he said he started to get the racket hit or the rack, the wrist going through the ball, just put a little bit more pressure on each shot to make sure. Yeah, it's almost like a sharpening up, isn't it? Got three points behind and that was just what he needed to get his, get his act into gear. And out six nine. In this situation, uh, that the roll of that racket face over the ball is quite deceptive, and it works out quite well. Oh, that sounded like. I hope his string's okay. Got a lot of power on it. He's actually trying to pick up the pace now, the Spaniard. But again, that. Backhand, back corner, a and third to the, the wrist work. Vanessa didn't the get the racket face open. He did break a string, by the way. Second game ball here for the Spaniard. Down. And he's done it. He's put the squeeze on the world number one. And that was a brilliant effort. Trying to feather it. He likes to do that on the forehand. 3-4. Almost gives it an inside-out slice. But the, the lead has just become a little slender again. He's uh, clearly just reduced the energy Nine output here, Parker, as he recognises right. that uh, this game is all but gone. It's waned just as Farag ups his own game. Seven game balls for world number one. 11-3. Just tried to roll that one in again. One game all. That uh, Ali Farag from 4-3 started to finally hit his straps. That's not. I don't know how you can see that. <laughs> that was totally invisible. Just jumps back on. It's been an exhibition since 4 3 in the second. Up until that stage, Tucker was uh, holding his own quite well, but then Ali Farag just hit a switch at that point in time, and the shots are just starting to stream out of the racket. And out 9 3. Uh, the momentum of the two bodies clashing and Farag has just uh, sliced another winner. It was just uh, Farag. Farag leads two games to one. Beautifully executed squash from Ali Farag. Yeah, okay. Fayares is uh, He's really starting to hit his straps playing uh, injury break.
In particular, when we see there, and out four, five. Spaniard not going at full stretch. Point lead. That the three point lead. All right, Nine, edging six. closer to victory. I mean, with the level of fitness that Parker has at world number 32, it just shows the strength of the physical aspects of players. Vanessa, even lower down the rankings, are incredible. Wonderful touch. 11 7, match to Farag. Three games to one. Ali Farag, 11, forever 13, the gentleman. Just first 11, question 3, is, how are you? I'm 11, concerned 3, about his opponent's well being. 11 7. 15 minutes in the fourth game. He had to work a little bit. 56 minutes in total, including the injury time from Pakaras. But a pretty good hit out for the world number one. Good. Little behind the back, improvisation by Three, Cole two. to keep himself in the rally. Hit well into space there. Nine, four. Throw to call. Play review. Well. This is just delaying the inevitable, I feel. Yeah, he would have taken his head off. To be, he'd have the bow smashed into his tet. So it is up to Paul Cole, Cole takes the first game five. here in this last game match of today's Cole play. Lovely finish. It's a really nice finish. End out. Five, four. That's what he needs to do. A rash error from Croat. Seven, five. Eleven, seven. So Paul Cole looking Game really, really confident Cole now. Two games to love. The actual duration of this match is so far has been a lot quicker than I expected. I thought it would be. More long, longer in testing, more testing physically. End up two six. That uh, he's got a bit more of a. A Zen voice going on after the stressful match with Mustafa. Down. 
count. Nine, two. Right. So eight match balls for Cole. And there it is. Eleven two. Boast. Match to call. Three games to love. Eleven five. Eleven seven. Eleven two. Three love victory for Colt to book his place into the second round with a nice rest day tomorrow.